Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see uh, something related to the table, creating a table. So we know while creating a table, we shouldn't be starting the column names with a digit or else an underscore, right? That's a common rule that we all follow while creating a table and giving a name to a column, right? So what if in case, you know, you have a column names that's starting with a digit, uh, how do you retrieve the data because I have faced this confusion a lot of times so I'll just what I'll do now is I'll create a table here create table test underscore digit and uh, let me just you know create a column that's having a digit so whenever you want to create a column name that's starting with the digit underscore just give this double quotes and I'm going to say first number okay and this um, is going to be of number type and then I'm going to say another column called um, um, let me use the same thing here first name and let this be of um, varchar type okay Okay, here you can see the table got created even when I'm using the column names with a digit, starting with the digit. So you can create a column using the double quotes uh, by doing this way. And also how to insert the values to this is just say the same way how you insert the values. Insert into the, give the table name. Okay, then values, just say what you want to give. So here I'm going to say one, okay, then two, two, and then let me insert another one record that is um, three, okay. So now we have already created the table. How do you retrieve it? It's very simple from test underscore digit so this is the way you retrieve it right so it's very easy now what if your table had many number of uh, columns and you want you will be retrieving it by column by column so when you say select first uh, you always call the column name right so that is like first underscore sorry just say it as um, first underscore number from test underscore digit when you do this you can see that you are not retrieving something that's already there in our call the values that are already there in the column uh, listed out you can see uh, it's showing that st underscore number and it is what is happening is it's appending one to your column name just giving like um, you know when you say select one from dual that's how it is happening so how do you you know uh, get rid of this is it's very easy instead of um, calling the column name like this you should be giving the double quotes even here when you are calling the column name so that you will be able to uh, retrieve the actual values from the column see now you are able to get the actual values of that column even though when your column is starting with a digit so that's how this is how you will um, be able to retrieve the values so let me just even mention the second column as well so that's first underscore name right so you can see you're, you're able to retrieve the values if you simply give the column name without um, using any kind of you know uh, double quotes then obviously it's going to append the digit that you're, you're going to use um, along with the column name so this is one of the way how you can retrieve the column names that starting with the digital underscore so hope you guys like the video so keep sharing my channel uh, with your other friends and family and uh, keep you no know, stay tuned to my channel for more upcoming videos thank you very much